Marriage is work. <laughs> Two, marriage will expose your weaknesses, crush your stubbornness, and yes, make you a better person if you allow the process. Three, just like life, marriage is not a bed of roses. You wake up romancing, go out fighting, return smiling, argue this minute, gossip the next minute. And four, marriage is a teamwork, and there's always a team test. So if you've not got a team spirit, you might not come out alive. <laughs> and five, which is the last, marriage is sweet, irrespective. Is real. So, what I would say I found most interesting in my marriage so far is seeing my husband's handsome face early in the morning. Yeah, like there's this brightness it gives, and I'm like, wow. Thank God for this and some cutie that belongs to just me alone. Yeah, and most of the times, every morning, he's very playful with me. Very, very fast. Sometimes he get less to work. So, and he'll be like, ah, oh, what's the moment? <laughs> so, it's been amazing, and I want to thank you to God for that. Yeah. So, you want I can fly away? Hello, hi. So that's how the movie of as I said. Okay, so um basically we've gone over a lot of the one over watching movies. Oh, because we like some kind of movies, so we watch movies together. Mostly action movies because I'm a lot of watching. Any romantic movie go to sleep off so I love uh, watching action movies. So we we'll watch over just about the actors, oh that part or the dressing and all and I can't watch it before. Yeah. Normally, if I go marry, I would never I keep four person, but since I go marry, I'm like, I should go. So we sit down, watch football together, discuss about probably the best striker. Oh, babe, what's that? What's that? I cannot keep. Oh, babe, what's that? So now, what kind of makes us go together? I'm the one over chores and probably I'm working, it comes around just again, and mostly after work. Oh, just, just no Lagos. All the drivers can be very funny. Oh, this job was actually very, very naughty and everything. So I basically have a bond over time. Thank you. Yeah, if I'm to write a letter to my 20 year old self, I'll say it's in three parts. Number one, chase your dreams, chase your dreams. Do not allow anything to stop your dreams. Your early 20s are the years you are most productive. So please chase your dreams. Number two, learn all that you have to learn. Yeah, like I said. Your early 20s are the years you are most productive, so please maximize that time and maximize that phase of your life. Yes, yeah. fine. There are married women learning, seeking knowledge, but yeah, it comes with a lot of sacrifice and it comes with a big cost. So please learn all that you have to learn now. Number three, calm down, relax. God is in charge. God will actually sort everything. So please relax and while you're at it, please. By all means, enjoy yourself. Thank you. But I know what I'm feeling. Baba God. In the past three years I've been married. I never had that cost to mess with me in the relationship or in the rest of my marriage. There has not been any reason for me to advise to anyone faced with similar situation. I will advise anyone faced with similar situation to let go of a relationship that is not healthy to their marriage. A relationship that is not bringing the desired growth to the family. So there's, there's no even there's no um, argument on that. Any relationship that is not bringing good to the family, let's go of relationship. So that is my advice for them. Before I got married, I was having the fear of unknown. But then when I got married, the day gets clearer, clearer, clearer as the day goes by. So I am happy and happy that um that there is direction um, and I'm grateful for my husband there's growth in my character I'm much more than when I said yes and um, I'm getting better balance in my life as a wife as a mother as a career person and many more and also when I look back 
I'm grateful for my career. As and when I said yes, there was no direction to where I wanted to choose to go in an accountant at all. I want to bless God for my husband who has been a great support, great support system to me. And um, today, I can say yes, the Lord has been with us and um, we have been fruitful and multiplying. So I want to thank God for the children the Lord gave me. I want to appreciate them for uh, clarity of purpose. So, there are many testimonies. I can start bringing them one by one. Blessings of job, you know, open doors before you knock, has been a testimony. And then I'm grateful for all of this.